Hi everyone, welcome back to Shockmania. I am the Ardy Dance. I've got something for you, come courtesy of my friend Adrian at Movies and Mania, who just listed this on his website this morning for you to have a read about. This is a Shudder film called History of Evil. I haven't watched the trailer yet, so let's get to it. E now. We have breaking news at the top of the hour. Political terrorist Allegra Dyer Rodriguez no. escaped from Evan Detention Center in Louisiana. So I believe this is a horror and end of the Authorities encourage citizens to contact them immediately so she can be brought to justice. Okay. How oh, nice. This place was selected to hide you until the extraction team can get us out. Right. So they seem to be in a house waiting for. He said an extra. Where's Benny? Benny got out. I say we take our chances and get mm. out of here. Nobody's going outside. Stop talking to me like I'm a child. Should have never brought you and Daria here. Look, the boy's helping me. Good boy. The one standing behind you. Oh, nice. So the trailer's kind of really building this up a bit. You need to take back your power. It's taken a long time to get to something. I need you to help mommy out right now. I've noticed a lot in horror trailers now. There seems to be a lot of people behind other people. I don't, uh, must be the new horror trend. Have you seen any of these political terrorists? Political terrorists. This is this kind of Put the gun down! So I'm not. Hmm. Hmm. Let me read the synopsis that Adrian's posted on Movies and Mania. It's a, an American horror thriller, 2014, about a family on the run that takes refuge in a safe house with an evil past. The problem is I'm not getting from that trailer. I'm not really understanding what the evil past is in this film. So on initial viewing of this trailer, I can't say that I'd be lining up to want to watch this. Um, that's interesting. I'd, I'd probably want to wait for a... Uh, someone to review it. Ha! Usually that would be me. Um, to let me know if it was worth the time. Yeah, I'm not getting much from this one. That's two minute trailer where I don't feel like um, I know the kind of horror that I'm going to get in this film. Um, now, I I don't watch too much stuff on Shudder and I've only the last year or two been getting back into American horror films after a really long break from them watching a lot of Asian stuff. And I'm starting to find that um, there is some creativity coming back to American horror, which is fabulous. But I'm not sure whether this one kind of will um, be that itch that I need to scratch when it comes to the type of horror that I like. I do like horror thrillers, and I think most people do, because a full-on horror movie... Um, using this style will probably get a bit fatigue inducing it's you know a faux haunted house kind of film uh but adding a bit of a thriller element could be fun the problem is that that trailer is probably not giving much a way that would make me want to watch it but hey your mileage might vary and if you're interested in watching this film i'd be really keen to know why um using the two smiley faces behind me i can't be bothered turning them off at this point uh, but I would have to say that I'm currently sitting at no smiley faces in excitement for this film, but let's hope that changes and let's hope some positive news comes out of this one. Otherwise, thank you, phone. Great timing. Otherwise, uh, I'm um, I'm not too keen on this one. I'm the Artie Dans. You've been watching Shock Mania. This has uh, been a trailer preview review. Um, press like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment if you want to say something about the movie. Otherwise, subscribe my channel and I'll catch you next time. See you later, everyone.